Hello, hi, I'm Cheryl. Nice to meet everybody. I'm so excited to be here. So um, I, uh, I don't have a, a, you know, too much of a plan, so I just want to kind of just jump right in. So my first question to you is, so what is it like to juggle grad school and all of your other responsibilities? It feels like a roller coaster. I totally agree with that. I think, you know, it's really hard to um, do both because you feel so busy all the time and you just don't have time for both family life and uh, work. So you kind of just, you know, have to find time for both. So. Roller coaster. Uh, you know, I, I've had that similar experience. I felt that way as well when I was a graduate student. I felt very similar to that. So I, I really understand how you're feeling. Right, you have like that good moment, mm -hmm. and then it lasts for like. Um, you know that that's that's exactly the way I feel. Like it feels really rewarding, but then you know there's those bad moments where you come home and your family's already sleeping, and you just don't get the time to spend with them. So that's like really the challenging part. That's really interesting. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree with that. Well, just yesterday, my sister had uh, my new niece. And I, I can't even be there, and I'm so excited. And well, I totally know what you mean. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I feel like I miss out on a lot of things with even extended family because I can't go. They live far away, so I can't really go home, you know, to visit for special things like birthday parties or basketball games or, you know, that happen on weekends because I have so much homework to do for graduate school. And, and I feel, you know, really bad about it sometimes. Yeah, I remember feeling that way too. There was a time when I couldn't make it home for that, and I, I completely understand that feeling. I can really see how, um, how you, how, and how that feeling of juggling all that can make you feel bad. Sometimes you feel awful because you're missing family engagement. And it, you think it's going to be good down the road, um, like it's all going to be worth it. You just got to keep telling yourself that, but in the moment, you kind of feel like it's. It's all about you, and I, you just kind of feel that guilt. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I just, I I do what I want for myself, and so I've just been watching my favorite show, and I spent, like, my entire weekend watching it, and it was, it was really awesome. I don't know if you guys have watched Dexter before, but it, it's about this serial killer, but he actually kills other serial killers. And it's, yeah, one of my favorite shows, which oh, is really I really random. That show. I mean, I watch it all the time, too. I go on a Netflix yep. binge, and I just yep. watch it, like, all day long, like, season three, and yes. I just can't stop. And, well, I really yeah. like Sherlock Holmes, actually. Have you seen the new Sherlock mm. on BBC? That's really good as well. I agree. I really, yeah, I agree. You probably, we probably watch a lot of similar shows. I'll yeah. check that one yeah. out. Yeah, check that one out. Watch Sherlock Holmes yet? No. Oh. Yeah, that one's awesome. I can't yeah. believe you guys have time to watch TV with all this juggling of responsibilities that you had asked mm -hmm. about. I think it works. I find it's more like a rhythm. Like you, you, it's like a binge and purge thing, and you, you have to say, or at least I do, I just prioritize school right now, and I'm going to work on school. Um, just could you, I was just, could you talk to me? I just wanted to hear what you had to say. So, so I think it's more like a rhythm. Because you focus more on school at a certain time, say, all right, you know, this weekend I'm going to devote myself to school. Mm -hmm have a date night so we prioritize some time for us but I think as long as you do that you, you can still I don't know if there's any such thing as a balance but it is you can fall into a rhythm and, okay. and just make it work. Okay. That's really that's really helpful. What is your name again? Susan. <laughs> so with, I, I mean since names are being disclosed and things and personal being said what do you plan on doing with the information that they're te we're telling you. Is right, so initially I had sent you some information, you know, I am, um, I am an assistant professor and so I'm collecting data on graduate student experiences and it's really important, um, you know, we have to, you know, we have a pretty um, rigorous publication process in our department and so I'm really looking to collect some data and use this for some publications um, coming up, you know, pretty soon and so I'm trying to collect focus groups um, to get as much data as I can as quickly as possible um, so that I can start um, looking at the results and be able to um, publish my, my work. Where are you going to publish? Well, you know, in terms of um, graduate students, and I'm looking at um, some really high tier journals. Like I said, we have a lot of pressure in our department. So um, this has been the, my, so I figured that doing focus groups would be able to get me a good population pretty quickly. 
So I really, but I really appreciate your time. How long do you think, like, if we were to pick up this journal, at what point do you think we would find ourselves in it? At what point do you think? Like, how long will it take for the publication question. process? So, I'm, so what, I don't think I understand your question. So I'm just wondering, like, if you published our focus group information in a journal, how how far out would that be? Would it be next year? And yeah, 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 possibly. But let's so let's get back to the um to the question. So one of my next questions is, um, so obviously you decided to put a lot of pressure on your family and others to go to grad school. So could you tell me what it feels like to kind of feel like kind of in that sense of of taking away from others or somewhat feeling selfish? I think maybe even one of you might have even mentioned that before. That kind of that selfish potentially feeling selfish about taking time away from family and other obligations? I just felt really guilty because um, my husband, he, he honestly thought I was done with school after the master's degree and now with the, going for the PhD, he's like, I just want it to be over with. <laughs> so it's, it's really tough in that sense, um, you know, especially with, with our child, I just feel like I'm going to miss out. Um, when I'm gone and, and doing things, even whenever I'm home and trying to do my homework, um, schoolwork, when I'm at home, it just, I don't know, I feel like I'm not, I'm there, but I'm not there um, with my baby, so. I'm, yeah, I feel like, I know you, your question had addressed it. You said, why did you decide to put so much pressure on your family, et cetera, or others? But I almost, I feel like I, I put more of the pressure on myself, um, hmm. personally, because uh, I, you know, since we are juggling people who have families, whether they have children or just extended family, etc., um, I, I start to feel that guilt, similar yeah. to what you were talking about, and I think I put more pressure on myself versus my family, if that, like, there, there's outcomes of my family and others, like sometimes you have to sacrifice certain things for yourself. So all of you feel guilty? I don't disagree with you because I feel like we have to, our families kind of suffer and have to do everything. They're kind of feeling the pressure of our decision to do it. Well, what do, you, what do you think? I mean, could you guys, is she saying something quite different? Do you? Did you guys come to some kind of consensus about about kind of answering that question? I mean, I think I don't know. Are you really like on that side of the spectrum? Yeah. Yeah. You probably you probably could see her point of view. Well, like yeah, the pressure. I mean, come to think of it, I don't think. I think more of the pressure is probably on my family and everybody else. I mean, because doing something for myself would be selfish, especially if it's burdening my family and friends and they're suffering from it. So I, I do agree. Okay. With so you. I, what I was thinking of, um, we have a really um, interesting activity that I like to do. Um, so I'd like to. It's pretty fun. It kind of gets us all talking and engaging. So what I'd like, I'd like to do is have each of you um, take a uh, just a couple post-it notes. So if you want to pass those around, this is um, really fun. So if you've got, I've got some really um, nice colors and markers here. So if you want to take a couple markers. So what I want you to do, um, um, yeah, so grab a couple markers. So like a couple markers each? Or just, or just like, yeah, two markers okay. each, yeah. Um, you take me very, very literally, don't you? Mm -hmm. um, so what I want you to do is I want you down one or two things that you like least about grad school. So just you know, choose you know, um, write it on a separate sticky part though. So on a separate sticky note, write down one thing on each note that you really don't like about grad school. Okay. In the same color or different? I know it's a stupid question. She really takes me literally, doesn't she? In the she? same right? color or different? Color. So so same color is fine. Okay. That's no problem. <laughs> This is a nice activity to kind of, kind of get the conversation going. So go ahead and start. Write down just, or if you only know one, that's okay, but write down one or two things that you just don't like about graduate school. And then what I'm going to do is I've got this post, uh, this, um, this um, post-it board, and then what we're going to do is um, write them on, on here in just a second. So when you're done writing your one or two things that you didn't like about graduate school, would you go ahead and pass them to me? 
cup. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so you're gonna pass those to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, keep, yeah. Are you about finished? Yeah. Okay. Are you finished? Yep. Oh, it's okay. Just yeah, just kind of keep writing. Are you almost done? Okay, but that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. All right. And you oh, and you have three. Okay. Well, I. No, no, no. It's, it's okay. That's fine. Just, just give me give me what you have. That's fine. Okay. This is the one together. Oh. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. That's about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna so. Just could you guys talk amongst yourselves for a, a minute? And I'm going to write these on the board, and just just give me a couple seconds to write this on the board, and then what we'll do is we'll have we'll talk about what we think are the most important. So just give me give me a second to write these on the board. Okay. I, do you want us to discuss anything well, in specific, yes, or uh, no? Just, just oh. you could just. just oh. okay. this season. I've actually this is my second time. <laughs> I've watched them all. Um, I think I'm on season five, but. Season four, I think. I don't like when Mia dies. I stopped watching after that episode. Yes. I, don't know. I didn't make it to that episode. Oh, I don't have time. Never watched it before. Oh, whoops. Spoiler alert. Um, I won't remember anyway. There's everything going on in my brain. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's such a good show. Okay, well, so what I've done now is I kind of went through them, and I think I've chosen what I think are oops, oh dear, what I think are the the most important ones that you that you chose. My stickies don't work, so now I'm going to write on the board. Oh, I wish I would have gotten different stickies or tried this out before. So lack of support. Okay, so um, IRB. Um, working full time. All right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna write these three for now, and then and then I'll be fine. So what I want you to do now, so you have your um, also you have your marker in front of you, and so what I want you to do is from these three that I've chosen, I'm gonna send this around, and you can just vote for what you think are the the one most what you think is the most important out of this out of this top three. So um, your lack of support. IRB and working full time. So just take your marker, and I'm going to have you send it around and just vote. So Mike, just but just vote once. Just just vote once. So you're just going to write that uh, write a line. Does that make sense? Okay. So just just vote once, and everyone gets one vote. But just what you whatever you think. Oh. Yeah, just whatever you think. Fine. But just 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 once, and then pass it on to the next person. Well, that's good. I mean, I think that that's really helpful for me to see that if we look at here, we can see that lack of support, IRB, um, doesn't seem to be um, as uh, as important to you as working full time, um, and so I think that in some ways that helps me out a lot because I'm thinking about this idea of kind of that, the stressfulness, right? But also, especially kind of that notion of kind of your time and how you can probably feel somewhat selfish for being graduate students and taking time away from your family. I think that really that makes a lot of sense in terms of what I was thinking ahead of time, and you've really been able to give me a lot of insight into how much time it takes for working full time. So that's really, really helpful. You guys have given me just a tremendous amount of information today. Uh, I really want to say you know, thank you so much. Um, and, uh, and I want to just say give me a lot, of, a lot of things to think about. And I really appreciate it. So everyone have a great day. It was nice to meet you. Uh, and if you have any questions, my name is Cheryl. And I think you probably have my information in that email that I sent you. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much.